During the Vietnam War, Chuck Hagel was a sergeant and infantry squad leader of B Company in the mechanized 2nd Battalion of the 47th Regiment in the 9th Infantry Division from 1967 to 1968. He was also in the same squad as his younger brother, and the pair are believed to be the only brothers to have served in the same squad during the Vietnam War. Hagel had refused a college deferment and rejected a draft board's recommendation that he go to college, and instead he volunteered for the Army in 1967. He also volunteered for a combat duty in Vietnam instead of being based in West Germany. The brothers ended up side by side in the same rifle platoon. They fought together in the Mekong Delta, walked on point together in the grenade-laced jungles, and battled snipers in Saigon. The pair would also save one another's lives several times under enemy fire. In the Mekong Delta near the village of Bien Fush, at age 21, Chuck was usually on guard duty at night because the Viet Cong would attack with rockets and mortars. Hagel was often on point duty with his brother who arrived in the unit after Tet had begun. He also performed road sweeps at night to make sure that the roads were open and free of VC booby traps. When the Tet Offensive began, Hagel's unit soon moved to an ammunition dump which the Viet Cong blew up when the unit arrived. Luckily, Hagel and the rest of the men in his truck were not seriously injured. Soon afterwards, they fought in the Battle of Widow's Village. The Viet Cong had used the village as a staging area to send ammunition to places. Hagel and his unit fought all day to drive the Viet Cong out of the village and lost many officers and senior enlisted men in the battle. Hagel's platoon was led by Lieutenant Jerome Johnson, who was very close to Chuck and Tom. In 1968, the U.S. was losing thousands of men in Vietnam as the Tet Offensive was taking place, and the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. and racial tensions at home caused morale to become at an all-time low and started to destabilize the platoon. Johnson told his men that their purpose in Vietnam was to protect each other and make sure they all get home, and that infighting in the platoon had to end. He also told the troops that any issue that they had, he would deal with them personally. As Secretary of Defense, Hagel called Johnson one of the best military officers ever. At age 19, Tom saved his older brother in combat. Normally, the Hagel brothers walked on point, but one morning in 1968, they rotated to the rear as their column crept through the jungle. The soldier on point that day met instant death as he stepped on a huge landmine. Flying shrapnel ripped through that squad. It hit Tom's arm, but a bigger piece was lodged into Chuck's chest. Ignoring his own wound, Tom frantically wrapped a compression bandages around Chuck's chest to stop the fountain of blood. A month later, their roles were reversed where Chuck saved Tom's life. During fierce combat, Chuck dragged Tom, who was unconscious at the time, out of a burning APC just before it blew up, turning Chuck's own face into a mass of bubbling blisters as blood poured out of Tom's ears. Later, as he himself lay in a hospital makeshift bed, close to death with severe burns, Hagel reflected on the horror of combat and vowed to do what he could to stop pointless wars in the future. At the end of his tour of duty, Chuck Hagel was awarded two Purple Hearts while his younger brother Tom was awarded three. He was discharged in December of 1968 after doing work with the Royal Thai military. One aspect of the war that stuck with Hagel the most was the individual heroism of the men in his squad. The men did not do courageous acts for medals or glory and would not be awarded medals that he felt that they had deserved. He saw the actions of the men in his squad as the average American soldier doing whatever he could to keep the rest alive and come back to the United States. Following the inauguration of President Ronald Reagan, Hagel would be named Deputy Administrator of the Veterans Administration. However, he would resign this post in 1982 due to conflict with his supervisor, VA Administrator Robert Nemo, who often referred to veterans groups as being greedy and that Agent Orange was nothing worse than teenage acne. Chuck Hagel's tenure as a Nebraska Senator, Chair of the Intelligence Oversight Board and of the President's Advisory Board, as well as his time as the 24th Secretary of Defense are beyond the scope of this video. Did you know about Chuck Hagel's time as a combat infantryman in the Vietnam War and how Chuck and Tom were the only brothers in the same squad during the Vietnam War? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.